Yeah, good day. Today I'm going to have a go at the Walkera QRX350 Pro, the uh, low voltage uh, sensor, uh, the modification that's required. Of course, first to do that we have to take off the, uh, the actual covers, split them apart. Uh, fairly simple. You've just got uh, four screws. You've got uh, one up under the arm here. There's one and uh, come back a bit. There's a couple here. As you can see, they're fairly obvious. A little one on the end and uh, four of these on each of the arms. Now don't forget there's also one hidden right here. There's a little rubber cup. Now you can easily miss that. If you do forget to take it out and try to split the uh, frame apart you could shatter the frame in that region. So just bear that in mind. Uh, well and truly uh, you've got to get it out before she goes bang. Okay I've just uh, got the thing sitting here at the moment and as you can see we've jumped through a bit of the video um, I'm sure you know how to unscrew bits and pieces but I've just sort of put it in here to fill it up a little bit just to give a bit of uh, an idea as to what it uh, what it takes now I've just taken off the uh, the gimbal as you can see here it's just a quick release job and uh, just playing around with a couple of things discovering they're a little bit hard to undo by hand so using the allen key and just kicking the uh, legs apart that's so we can get to that first screw. Um, yeah, I've jumped forward a little bit in the uh, video. Uh, as you can see, I've taken the uh, cover off there already. Um, Devo M is just sitting there, as you can see it quite uh, quite clearly. And uh, I started thinking to myself, um, the cables have to be cut, uh, resold, a bit of um, shrink wrap put over it. And then, then I started thinking, well, maybe don't have to do that. I'll, uh, I'll have another look at this. So I put it down for a second and uh, you'll see I jump forward shortly in the video as the old brain sort of wanders around a bit. And uh, it dawned on me that well, I don't really have to cut it at all. Uh, here I've already popped out the Devo M because I'm doing another another project at the same time. Then I'm looking back at that cable thinking it goes right back to the board there. Now the red and white wire there, the live wire and the, or the signal wire I should say, and the uh, the uh, feed there, it's uh, well, they're just sitting there together. So maybe I can bridge them down there. I, I don't have to cut the wire at all. So uh, that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to simply bridge the two wires together. Yeah, so uh, out with the old soldering iron. It's uh, set on 300 degrees at the moment. And uh, I use leaded uh, solder because it's uh, got a slightly lower melting point. And uh, away we go. And uh, just touch the... Uh, the two little wires up there and uh, bridge a bit of solder across it and a uh, little puff of smoke oh, well, must be doing something yeah rattling away still having a bit of fun and uh, not certain about that smoke so I'll have a bit of a look here better see what's going on and uh, yeah, sure enough, there was a bit of plastic coating that I've touched, so need to be touched again. Um, and uh, here we go again, just a little bit of solder between those two little leads in there, the little and uh, bridged, and uh, there we go. Not that hard. It just saves cutting the wires and uh, having to muck around with uh, shrink wrap and all the rest of the nonsense. It uh, does exactly the same job and it's a lot quicker and just having a final check makes certain I've got it right and yeah happy with that um, solder joints nice yeah, I'm fairly happy with that and um, have yeah, a bit of a look at it now you can sort of see the solder there it's uh, bridging nicely between the two the uh, red and the white wire it's sort of nice little blob in there so definitely get in contact between the two and uh, there you go saves so you having to rip you know catch your wires and muck around with all sorts of stuff and you can always use a solder sucker at a later time if you need to and uh, simply undo it the check wire um, connector if you want to do it yourself it's a uh, third one in and uh, you can easily trace it back to the board that I've just finished 